Hello world, Mr. Resistor here continuing our alpha journey and we are oh, in a bar space, I realize for some reason I thought we were in Galente space. Alright, so what did we get today? A booster, we'll save that for later. Um, Nothing else here that we need to deal with. Well, let's see, what is this? Turret tracking speed. Yeah, we don't need that today either. And let's see, money-wise, 69 million. Nice. Um, we are training small projectile turret five. Uh, and we just finished a story mission for Sisters of Eve. So, we are going to head back to Heck. How was that? Um, shorter. Okay. I don't know that I ever really looked at these. I didn't realize that this was an option. Alright, well, it's just going to be a long series of jumps. So, here we go. Warp drive active. Keeping an eye out down here, looking for hideaway. Active. Um, because we should be able to do one of those in adventure with a couple of T1 drones. And I mean, we only need one kill, so even if we can't do the whole thing. We can definitely get one kill. Warp drive active. Drive active. So my uh, continuing internet saga. Um, another technician came out to my house today to check out the situation try and figure out why the uh, the crew that was supposed to install my new connection to the street cancelled um, and he found basically exactly the same as the first guy found which is not a surprise which is uh, 
that the existing underground connection is super old and needs to be replaced. Um, and that there was no reason why they wouldn't have been able to do the job. So, we put in another ticket and hopefully it's not another two weeks. Um, I'll give them a couple of days and I'll start calling every day on my lunch hour and make myself real annoying until they install my internet because apparently that's what you have to do to get stuff done Orb drive active Anyway, I guess that that gives me a little more chance to get stuff done. I have had an idea for a, uh, a custom desk, computer desk. Orb drive um, active. <clears throat> basically, full sheet of plywood carve out carve out like a circular well carve out an arc on one side take off the corners on the other side and then I can have hopefully have space for all four of the monitors that I have now, probably another one uh, that I'll add in the future when I get my old Orb gaming drive. PC Active. back together, probably space for another couple of things like I've got, I've got some uh, phones for testing mobile stuff on, um, be nice to have space for you know, maybe a tablet, uh, or a MacBook. I actually got a, uh, like a reading stand, um, that I'm gonna probably put my MacBook on. So I don't really use it that much, um, but it would be nice to have easy access to it right there next to me Active. for those times when I am developing stuff for Apple platforms, so. Anyway, should have a pretty slick setup. The other thing that I need to figure out <clears throat> is uh, the room that's gonna be my office has a pretty big closet with big sliding closet doors. And I want to turn those into whiteboards. Um, they are like a wood veneer right now. I mean, it's kind of kind of old school. Not like a super Active. nice veneer, but I don't want to I don't want to damage it or paint it. So I'm hoping that maybe there's some other way I can go about doing that. Um, and I mean, if I just have to, like, hang different doors or something, like, that's a possibility too. But ideally, I'd be able to just, like, put something on those doors. Like a, I don't know, like a contact paper or something, you know? Or like, a, what's in there? Like temporary wallpaper, isn't that a thing? You're supposed to be able to 
Warp drive remove, active. You know, some kind of like big, <laughs> big sheet of vinyl sticker or something. I feel like that could do the job. But anyway, I've always kind of wanted to have big ass whiteboard. Um, and I feel like now's my chance. So, um, there is also a sliding glass door. Those work pretty good as whiteboards. Um, the glass in general does. Um, uh, uh, just refuge. Refuge is probably doable, but they're active. a little bit more difficult. Anyway, yeah. Giant whiteboard. That's, uh, that's my goal. Oh yeah, also, new place, I've achieved another lifelong dream, which is having a garage. So, <coughs> gonna set up a electronics uh, workbench in there. Got a couple of items to reco to uh, to repair. Um, one's a lamp that I picked up at a Warp drive active. at an estate sale recently. It's like an old brass oil lamp that someone converted to electricity, but it's a little bit broken. So I'm gonna gonna repair that and. Ideally, I'd like to add um, like USB charging ports to it. I feel like that would be pretty slick. So we'll see if I can figure out how to do that. It might, it might involve um, like adding a base to it or something. So we'll see. I'll look at my options. Um, oh, hey. Angel Hideaway. Warp drive active. Um. Yeah, I'll just have to to think about it. Um, you know, maybe do something with like some nice uh, nice wooden box or something might be cool. Or um, you know, if I can get a sheet of sheet of brass to like. And I do actually have a sheet metal bend, a sheet metal break. That's what it's called. Down in the basement, at least for now. I don't know. Seems like seems like stuff's getting cleared out. So I don't know how long that's gonna remain true. But for now, anyway. Um, there's most of what you'd want in a machine shop in my basement, so got a lot of options for making stuff. leave the... no, I didn't grab it, okay. So this guy, if you recall, yeah, 
Yeah, so this is this one was outfitted for mostly for tank, although I mean I would normally put a damage control down here. Um <coughs> But uh, yeah, if you recall, it was this was outfitted for tanking um, because of the uh, mining events during the I think it was the was it the Kaldari event? <coughs> or well, anyway. Uh, that's just kind of my generic venture fit. Is the the one that uh, I found one for doing those mining, uh, uh, those what faction event mining expedition things, and uh, modified it to be a little more to my liking, and that's kind of my generic. Uh, venture fit at this point. <clears throat> um, it's a pretty solid basis. Uh, we do go out to do some gas mining. I think I might uh I might put the damage control on there for that. Cause I don't think there are any I don't think there are any gas mining upgrades. Should probably check on that. But Mining. Yeah, that lady. Right, my drones are in. Yes, okay. 
Warp Off drive we go. active. <clears throat> Warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Space, we got plenty of space for that. Okay. Alright. So let's go ahead and do this. Warp drive active.
But, uh, yeah, these are very chill missions. Like I said the other day. Ideal for watching some Netflix or whatever. Depleted. kind of like the, uh, wow, that's bright, um, the effects that they added to this, uh, some of these are fairly recent, they kind of refined how the mining laser looks, the rocks, the glow effect here, the smoke. kind of dig how the industrial ships really do kind of they have a very industrial vibe in fact good design One thing I usually try to do while mining is kind of kind of crawl along. Um, what's my range on these again? Sixteen, right? Yeah. Okay. So that means I could probably go here. That probably works. <coughs> Anyway, just kind of keep, like, moving along so that your next target is always in range. Um, it is one of those activities where you can um, you can really, like, optimize your time and, uh, of, you know, find efficiencies in how you work. Um, if you want to be diligent about it, you know, which is, normally I don't want to put too much effort into that, but at the same time, you know, it doesn't, uh, the asteroid is doesn't usually make sense to have to, you know, wait until one asteroid's done, then take your time moving to the next one and retargeting and everything. It's you really want to have ideally the next one set and ready to go. So you're kind of moving along um, among the rocks. You know, I guess I think about it like monkey bars. Um, if you ever did those. 
as a kid. I don't know if do playgrounds even still have monkey bars. Because uh, when I was a kid, we had them at school, but I don't think my daughter did. So, yeah, sorry if I'm uh, making reference to playground equipment that no longer exists. <clears throat> The asteroid is depleted. Asteroid is depleted. All right, well, good thing we stopped and fought those dudes because there hasn't been anyone else, at least not on this mission. I'm always kind of curious about these Angel Cartel doesn't like us, so we does, so what else did that huh. I thought it would show me the other ones that uh that I was getting uh, additional standing for. Um, well. The asteroid is depleted. The asteroid is depleted. Alrighty. Warp drive active.
Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So until next time, have a good one.